bill is called the American Health Care Act, and here are some of its most important points. It will end the mandate and exchange model, replace it with tax credits, and this is crucial, an even stiffer penalty for those who drop insurance and then try to re-enroll. It will freeze Medicaid expansion after January 1st, 2020, cut funding to Planned Parenthood, and give a tax break to healthcare CEOs making more than half a million dollars a year. Yes, that's really in there. Joining me now, Nira Tandon, President of the Center for American Progress, Senior Advisor of the Obama Administration on Healthcare Reform. Um, Nira, there's, there's a lot in here to sort of digest. I, I wonder what your sort of top line takeaway is. You know, actually, I thought it was fascinating that Anthony Scaramucci talked about how much Donald Trump is focused on working people. and people struggling because the great irony of this proposal is that it represents a massive shift of costs onto the backs of working, struggling people. It, it's a redirection of benefits from people who are struggling to pay for health care, people who have received uh, health insurance from the Affordable Care Act, working families, working people, older people. Uh, their benefits will be slashed in order to pay, basically make it cheaper for millionaires. And, you know, he eliminates tax increases on millionaires. And uh, the very people who voted for Donald Trump, older Americans, working class people uh, throughout this country, this plan basically raises their premiums dramatically, will mean they lose coverage. It's a great irony in this whole situation we're in. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the sort of the distributional impact, as far as I can tell, is that it, it, it's going to be better. It's a better plan if you're healthy and wealthy. Uh, and, and if you're not that, that it's probably worse. And if a lot you're of older, it's just a bad plan if you're older. If you happen to be 40, 50, 60 years old, health insurance becomes skyrocketingly expensive if you don't have it now. If you can't, if you've had a, try, a hard time struggling to pay for health insurance and you're in those age ranges, you are going to have a much harder time paying for health care, and, pe and people won't be able to afford it. They'll drop coverage. Uh, millions of people will lose coverage. And I think the sad reality is so many people relied on Donald Trump when he told them they would get something better. Yes. And this plan shows that that, and it pains me to say this, but it was a lie, that they relied on that, and, and they were betrayed by a plan here which is going to be much, much worse for them. And I, it's unfortunate to say that, but it's true.